Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? How are you? Excellent. Thanks for asking. I'm really good. Thanks for asking. And tell me, how was your weekend? Uh, resting at home. Excellent. That's perfect. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, so we are going to begin. Sorry for the delay. I had some problems with my computer, but now I'm here. Okay, so we are going to begin. Yes. Okay, so if you remember, um, the last class we started talking about family, right? Yes. Okay, so what did we talk about family? Do you remember? Uh, vimos un poco de los, los miembros de la familia. Yes. E interactuamos entre nosotros hablando de nuestras familias. Okay, yes. That is true. We were talking about our family. Um, we were describing also. So we will continue today. And for today, uh, basically we are going to make a review of the present continuous tense. Do you remember what the present continuous tense is used for? Yes. Or present progressive? Mm. No, you don't remember? Okay, so that's fine, don't worry about it. We are going to be discussing about it. So we are going to begin and we are going to watch the video that we have there in the platform that is for the present continuous tense. And then we are just going to make a review and we are going to be working in some exercises as well. Okay, so let's begin with that. So here we go. Okay, let me know if you can listen, please. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. 
Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in our discussion block. Okay, so basically this is the video. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so basically this is a video, well, the video that we have for the present continuous tense. As you could see, when we are talking about simple, the, the present continuous tense, we are going to use the verb be plus a main verb that is going to be in its the Amazon. form. So you can see that here we have some questions. Um, let me see, Gerardo, can you read the first three questions, please? Gerardo? Hello, teacher. Okay. Can you, you read the, the first three examples, please? Are you living at home right now? Is your sister working for the government? Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Okay, thank you. Gerardo, choose another person, please. Raquel. Okay, Raquel, can you read the answers for the questions that Gerardo read, please? Um, for the tercera. Uh, no, we are here. The questions, yes, I am, or? Uh, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Yes, she's. Or no, she's not. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they are. They're not, no, they aren't. Thank you, Raquel. Can you choose another person, please? Selena. Okay, Selena, can you read the next questions, please? Um, where are you working now? What is your brother doing this day? Who are your parents this week? Excellent, Selena, can you choose another person, please? Um, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, can you read the answers? Okay, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. I am not working. I need a help. Job. Job. I need a job. He's traveling in the Amazon. They are visiting my grandmother. Okay. Excellent. So you can see that here we have the present continuous tense. We have yes, no questions and information questions. So what do we use the present continuous for? Can you tell me? When it is happening something, for example, right now it's an action that has a principio and final. Okay. For example, I am watching a movie right now. Ah, okay. This movie will be in. Okay. Because we use ing at the end of verbs. Okay, excellent. Yes, that is a characteristic for these tense. As Alex was saying, we are going to use the present continuous when we are talking about things that are happening now. So at the moment of speaking. So can you tell me what are you doing? I'm listening to. I'm listening to you, for example. Okay. Excellent. You're listening to me. What else? Um, ¿Cómo se dice recibir, dicha? ¿Recibir qué? Por ejemplo, la clase. Ah, so you're having. I'm having a class, an English class right now. Okay. Excellent. Or I'm attending. 
my English class. Well, okay. Excellent. So how about you, Carlos? What are you doing? Um, I, I am my English class online. Uh-huh. Okay. Excellent. What else? Um, I don't know, sir. Okay. Don't worry about it. So how about you, Gerardo? What are you doing? I am studying my okay. English classmate. Okay, excellent. You are studying English. How about you, Selena? No entiendo la pregunta. The question is, what are you doing now? I am uh, class English. I am listening. Okay, you're mm -hmm. listening to your English class. Excellent. How about you, Raquel? I am watching my computer. Okay, perfect. Francisco, how about you? I'm watching you through the computer. Okay. Perfect. And how about you, Jonathan? Uh, I am studying English. Okay, perfect. So you are studying English. So I'm going to share right now this information. And as you have seen, when we use the present continuous tense, we are going to use the verb be plus a verb in its ing form. And as it says here, we use the present continuous tense to talk about things that are happening now, ¿ok? Vamos a usar el presente continuo para hablar de cosas que están ocurriendo en este momento. That's why I was asking you, what are you doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? You said, I'm studying English. I'm listening the class. You can also tell me, I'm paying attention. And in case that you're doing something different, I'm watching TV, I'm listening to music, I'm drinking coffee. Uh, what else? Can you tell me another example? I'm doing exercise. Okay, I'm doing exercise. What else? She's talking, uh, yeah, she's talking with her grandmother. Okay, she's talking with her grandmother. Yeah, you can also tell me, I am chatting, estoy chateando, for example. So, there are many things that are happening right now. So, hay varias cosas que están pasando en este momento. And that's when we are going to be using the present continuous tense, okay? Is okay. that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, so let's continue. So with affirmative sentences or statements, you can see that we're going to have the subject pronoun or the subject, then we are going to use the verb be, am, um, is, or are, plus a verb in ing. So let's see, uh, Raquel, can you read the examples please? I am dancing. 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 He, she, it is dancing. You, we, they are dancing. Okay, thank you, Raquel. Uh, so you can see that here we have the way that an affirmative sentence is going to be structured. And with negative sentences, continue. Um, Jonathan, can you read that information, please? I am not dancing. He, she, it is not dancing. You, we, they are not dancing. Okay, excellent. So with negative statements, basically the only thing that we are going to do is to add not to the sentence. I mean, between the verb be and the verb in ing. Okay, so you can tell me I'm not paying attention or I'm not 
drinking coffee. I'm not chatting. We're not using our cell phones and so on. Thank you. So let's continue. Um, just give me a few seconds. So Francisco. Okay, can you read the information questions, please? Okay. Who is eating the cake? What are Diego and Marvin doing? Where is Josue going? Okay, thank you. So how would you answer those questions, Carlos? No la veo, sir. No. Sorry? Answer, um, no la veo. No. Oh, well. uh, yeah, in your own words. Who is eating the cake? Uh-huh. Uh, no. Uh, answer, uh, little. Just, just give me a few seconds. Okay, so we have the following question. Who is eating the cake? How would you answer it? ¿Cómo respondería usted esa pregunta? Who is eating the cake? Um, I am not eating the cake. Okay, but the question is who? ¿Quién? Oh, ¿quién? ¿Quién, está, ¿Quién está comiendo pastel? ¿Quién se está comiendo el pastel? ¿Quién está comiendo el pastel? Oh. So let's suppose that you had a birthday party yesterday and you bought a cake and you still have uh, something left and suddenly you open the fridge and you see that there's a piece missing. So you can make the question, who's eating the cake? Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Um, let's see. How about you, Selena? How would you answer this question? For example, Teresa is eating the cake. Okay, excellent. Teresa is eating the cake. So what about the next one? What are Diego and Marvin doing? Yes, please. Diego and Marvin. Diego and Marvin are going. Diego and Marvin are talking with their mom. Okay, excellent. They are talking with their mom. Okay, and the last one. Where is Josue going? Carlos? Um, where is you? How do you say in Spanish, donde? teacher? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Sorry, Carlos, can you repeat that again, please? Where you where is Jose, Jose gone? A donde está yendo Josué? He going in the park. Okay, he's going to the park. Thank you. To the park. He's going to the park. Yes. Okay, so those are just some examples. So if I'm going to answer the first question. Who is eating the cake? Okay. Wait. Okay. I can say that Guillermo is eating the cake. What are Diego and Marvin doing? They are playing with their cell phones. 
Where is Josue going? He is going home. ¿Ok? These are some examples. Estos son ejemplos, ¿verdad? O sea, aquí se puede responder de diferente manera. Who is eating the cake? ¿Quién se está comiendo el pastel? You can say, uh, my sister is eating the cake. My father is eating the cake. Um, the cat is eating the cake, and so on. What are Diego and Marvin doing? They are talking to their parents, or they traveling to Europe. Where is Josue going? He's going home, he's going to the park, he's going to church, and so on. Okay? No sé si está claro esto, o si tienen alguna duda. Sure. Uh -huh. El verbo siempre eh, va a ser con al uh, final ING. Sí, como estamos usando lo que es el presente continuo, vamos a usar lo que es el verbo to be más un verbo en ING. Ok. Esa es la forma sí. en la que nosotros vamos a estar usando el presente continuo. Es decir, si es una oración afirmativa, como lo veíamos anteriormente, vamos a tener primero lo que es sujeto, verbo to be, más el verbo en ing y complemento. Si son oraciones negativas, igualmente tengo lo que es el sujeto, el verbo to be, en su forma negativa, ¿verdad? Más el verbo en ing y el complemento. Ahora bien. Si son preguntas abiertas, inicio con la WH word. You can see who, what, where, when, and so on. Then we use the verb be. Luego tenemos lo que es el verbo to be. El sujeto más el verbo en ing. ¿Ok? Y las respuestas van a ser una oración afirmativa. Yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So, how about yes, no questions? With yes, no questions, we're going to have it like this. Alex, can you read that information, please? Yes, teacher. Can I study? Is he, she studying? Are we, you, they studying? Okay, excellent. So, I can ask, uh, for example, is Francisco drinking coffee? Mm, no, I drink coffee. Okay, listen to the question. Is Francisco drinking coffee? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. And if the answer is affirmative, it would be? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, excellent. Is Gerardo sleeping? No, he isn't. No, he isn't, or? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. Um, let me see. Are you talking by phone? Yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am or? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, excellent. So if you can notice, we are going to make yes, no questions as when we are using the verb to be. Las preguntas cerradas con el presente continuo es similar a como lo hacemos con el verbo to be. Inicio primero con el verbo to be. Luego, sujeto más el verbo en ing, más complemento, ¿ok? And the way that I'm going to answer is the same as we do it with the verb to be. La forma en la que yo voy a responder es la misma en la que yo uso lo que es el verbo to be para respuestas afirmativas y negativas en preguntas cerradas. So, let me see. Jonathan, can you read the affirmative answers, please? Yes, you are. 
Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, we are. Yes, I am. Yes, they are. Thank you. Selena, negative answers, please. Selena? Sería, no you aren't, no she isn't, no she isn't, no we aren't, no I'm no, I'm not, no they aren't. Ok, excellent. Vaya, hasta acá. ¿Está claro o tienen preguntas? Clear teacher. Ok. 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 So, I have one question for you. Um, with verbs in ING, how do we use them? ¿Cómo usamos los verbos en ING? Do you know the rules? ¿Se acuerdan de las reglas para el ING? No. No, teacher, la verdad, por regla, no. Ajá. Ok, so don't worry about it. We are going to check that right now. Solamente quería saber si, si se acordaban, pero si no se acuerdan, está bien. No hay problema que ahorita vamos a ello. Ok, so here we have spelling rules. Ok, just hold on. So, here we are. Ok. So here we have spelling rules for the present continuous tense. Carlos, can you read the first one, please? Okay, teacher. Spelling rules for the present continuous tense as e and e e and g I. to must make i and g to must make verb. Read plus I M G. Um, igual no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Equals. <laughs> Equal reading. Talk plus I M G. Uh, talking. Talk, talking. Talking. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you can see that here we have the first rule, and it says. For most main verbs, para la mayoría de verbos, the only thing that we are going to do is to add ing. Para la mayoría de verbos, lo único que hacemos es agregar ing. So we have read, reading, talk, talking, work, working, working. Yes. Excellent. Watch, watching, drink, drink. Drinking. Drinking. Excellent. So that is the first rule that we have. So let's go to the next one. Raquel. To form the present continuous tense of some main verbs that end in a consonant plus E, drop the E and add A. And G. I. I. I and G. Okay. Y plus I and G equals reading. Use plus I and G equals using. Make plus A and G equals making. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Teacher, so you can, yes? In this case, what's the meaning of drop? Drop, eliminar, quitar, tirar. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So you can see that if the verb ends in a consonant plus E, okay? Consonant plus E, we drop the E. 
and not ing. Okay, be careful with this rule. Dice, si el verbo termina en una consonante más i o la e, eliminamos la e y agregamos ing. So we have write, use, and make. If you can see, we have consonant e, consonant e, consonant e. So based on that rule, we are going to delete the e and we are going to add ing. So write becomes writing. Use, using. Make, making. Any questions? Um, teacher. Yes. For example, come. For example, come. For example. Come. Come. C -O, uh -huh, yes. C O M. -E. Okay. Yes, we have one consonant and E. So we are going to delete it. Let me see. We have come. Okay. Yes. So we have here the consonant and then we have here the E. So we are going to delete the E and we are going to add ING. Sorry. Okay, coming. So, how about the following verb? Sorry for my writing. C. Am I going to do the same or am I? C. Okay, Did yeah. ¿Elimino E o solo le agrego ING? ING, teacher, nada más. ¿Seguro? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Or no. Why? No, teacher. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. I think that we... Last E. So you yeah, can see I have a vowel. one consonant. Uh, and how many vowel. E's do I have? Vowel. Two E. Okay. So I just add ING. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. So you need to be careful on that. Okay. Another question? No? No. No, the chair. Okay. Seguro que no hay preguntas. No. Va, después hay un ejercicio allí. So let's continue. <laughs> okay. Um sorry. Okay, so we have the following rule. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. The next one. Um, Alex, can you read it, please? To form the present continuous dance of some neighbors that end in a vowel plus consonant W, the consonant, and then add ing. Okay, and the example? C plus T plus ING will equal C. Okay, thank you. So you can see that there we have that to form the present continuous tense of some main verb that ends in a vowel plus consonant, we're going to double the consonant and then we are going to add ING. Okay. Para los verbos que terminen en una vocal más una consonante, duplico la última consonante y le agrego ing. So you see the example there that we have sit plus, I'm going to double the t plus t plus ing will be sitting. And if I have the following verb, chat. 
you can see I have a vowel and a consonant. So that one is going to be? Sharing. Sharing. Duplicolate, si o no? Yes. Yes. Okay, if I have yes. this one, jog. Jogging. Jogging. Duplicolaje? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, let me see another one. Uh huh. Listen. Play. Play. Play in teacher. Duplico Play. or no duplico? Just add. No. No. It's no. no. I only add ing. Add. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Is that clear for you? Yes. 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 It's clear. Okay. Thank you. So let's continue. Okay. Just hold on. Okay. Give me a few seconds. Que se me congeló aquí la pantalla. Okay, so let me see if I can move now. No, I can't. So I'm going to explain another rule. Um, probably you may see it. Tal vez la puedan ver por acá. Ya voy a tratar de hacerlo un poquito más grande. But it says, but we do not double the final consonant when the verb ends in W, X, or Y or when the final syllable is emphasized, okay? Seguimos con esta regla, ¿verdad? Pero dice aquí, no vamos a duplicar la consonante final cuando el verbo termine en W, X o Y, o cuando la última sílaba is emphasized. So you can see that we have the examples, fix, okay? Tengo una vocal más consonante, pero como termina en X, lo único que hago es... Add ING. ING, ok. We only add ING. Then I have enjoy. You can see it ends in a Y, so... Enjoy. Enjoy. Ok, I only add... ING, and then I have to e know. ING. ING. We only add ING, ok? Es decir que estas son excepciones. Si los verbos terminan en W, X o Y, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle ING, ok? Any questions? No teacher. No, no teacher. Okay. No. No teacher. Thank you. Give me a few seconds. Let me see if I can. If no, okay. Now I can. Sorry. No sé por qué, pero se me congeló ahí la, la presentación. Okay. Because there is another rule that I need to explain and then we are going to be working on the exercise that I told you. Okay? So, here we have uh, Esmeralda. Can you read it, please? Okay. In the verb ends in I-G-E, we change it to I-J-I-N-G. Why? Ng. Y i n g. Line plus y i n g. Line. Yes. Yes. Did die die plus y i n i n g. Sign. Okay. Thank you. So we okay. have that if the verb ends in i e. We are going to change it to Y-I-N-G. Si el verbo termina en I-E, 
Eliminamos lo que es la IE y agregamos j i n g So you can see we have lie and die. They end in IE. So we delete them and we add Y-I-N-G. So lie becomes lying. Die, dying. Okay? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No, teacher. Nope. So is everything clear for you? Yeah. Okay. So here we have the exercises that I was telling you about. We are going to change the following verbs into their ing form. So let me see. We have number one, Carlos. Snowing. Okay, and how do you spell it? Como lo deletrea? Is S is M O W I A N G. I N G. Okay. And why? Por qué hace eso? A vowel and consonant. Vowel and consonant, but what is the consonant that I have? Oh, w. Uh huh. ¿Y qué dijimos con los verbos que terminan en W? Um. Recuerdo la regla ahorita. Ajá, don't worry about it. Um, choose another person, please. My teacher. Okay, Esmeralda, what do we do? Mm. Cualquier verbo. No, eh, con no. el primero. ¿Qué es lo que ah, hacemos? Okay. Eh, only add ing. Why? Because en. En consonant en, en, en W. Ok, excelente, because it ends in a W. So, Esmeralda, the next one, Thai. Thai. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Sí, eh, only, oh, oh no, eh, change to Y, I, and G. Excellent. So, mm -hmm. we are going to delete the I, E, and we are going to add. Eh, add. Y N G. Excellent. Francisco, the next one. Travel. Mm, traveling. T T R A V E L I N G. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Alex. Bye, teacher. Yes. Yeah, because the bear and with Y. So what do we do? We we only add ing. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. The next one. And um, watching. W A T C H I N G. Okay. Perfect. The next, the next one. Sorry, Gerardo. Taking. And how do you spell it? T A K. I N G. Aha. Uh -huh. And what is the rule that you are using? K 
¿Qué rule estamos o qué regla estamos aplicando allí? Donde eliminamos la E y agregamos ING. ¿Por qué la elimino? Porque está con una consonante. Excelente. Thank you. The next one, Raquel, smile. Similar is uh -huh. smiling. Smiling. Okay, excellent. Selena, the next one, enjoy. Vamos a agregar tiene que sería la regla. Recuerdo que había una excepción para un verbo donde no se podía eh, quitar la Y, sino que se tiene que agregar y en G. No sé si recuerdo más. Ok, perfect. Excellent. Let's see the next one. Um, Francisco. Uh, sleeping. Mm -hmm. S L E E P I N G. Okay, perfect. The next one, Carlos, read. Reading. Uh -huh, and what do we do? ING. We just add ING. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Alex, the next one. I'm sending teacher. Okay, and what do you do? We just add ING. Perfect. And the last one, Jonathan. Running. Okay, and, what? and add, uh, and, no, 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 double uh, the last uh, consonant. Okay. Because, uh, because la anterior es una vocal. Excellent. So on this one, we double the last consonant and then we add ing. Perfect. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de lo que es el presente continuo? Sure. Yes. Um, y de Snow, ¿cómo se escribe? ¿Solo le agrego ING o, o cambia? Solamente es ING. Recuerde que okay. decía la... Bueno, permíteme dónde estamos. Acá. ¿Dónde estoy? Acá. ¿Dónde es que está esa regla? Sí, lo siento, que me parece entonces se me se congeló. Ah, okay. se tragó. Sí. Pero acá está. ¿Qué dice? But we do not double the final consonant when the verb ends in W, X, or Y. Si el verbo termina en W, X, o Y, no vamos a duplicar la última sílaba, ok, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle ing ok, okay. tenemos fix, enjoy snow, ok fix, yeah. como termina en x solo le agrego ing, fixing enjoy, igual como termina en y, solo le agrego ing, enjoy snow igual, termina en lo que es w le agrego ING y me queda snow. Ok. Ok, teacher. Teacher, okay. what is the meaning of snow? Nevar. Oh, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, another question. No. Is everything clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Veamos entonces qué tan cierto es, qué tan claro está. Okay. 
Okay. So here I go. So you can see that it says that you're going to write the ing form for the following words or verbs, okay? Aquí es ya aplicando lo que vimos anteriormente. Veamos, uh, Francisco, la número uno. Uh, biting, drop, e, and al ing. Excellent. Um, Selena, the second one. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's see. Carlos, clap. Um, clapping. At what? ING. Solo le agrego ING? Uh, at the, the, the double um, consonant. Okay, we double the P and then we add ING. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Alex, the next one. Uh, comment teacher, we, we delay, we delay the delete. letter. Delete. We delete, so thank you. We delete the letter E. Okay, perfect. And, uh, ING. ING. Thank you. Esmeralda, the next one. Com. Com is add, uh, add ING. Only. Okay. We only add ING. Excellent. Gerardo, the next one. We Cry. have here. Cry. Cry. What do we do? Add only ING. Okay, perfect. Jonathan, the next one. Cut. Cutting. Cut. Uh, how to pronounce? Cutting? Or cutting, yes. Cutting, okay. Uh, we double the, uh, the T and, I, I, and add ING. Okay, excellent. Raquel, the next one. Dance. Dancing. Add I and D. We only add ing or do I need to do something else? Drop E. Add I and D. Excellent. Eliminamos la E y agregamos ING. Perfect. Let's see the next one. Um, am I forgetting someone? Se me olvida alguien? No. Okay, so Francisco, the next one, please. Uh, dreaming. Only add ING. Okay. Excellent. Any questions? Preguntas hasta acá? Richard, what is the meaning of the verb? Es el que está arriba de snow. Uh, ¿Dónde está snow? Déjeme ver. ¿Qué es el Ajá. ¿Do you have an idea about it? No. Ajá. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's suppose that you are sick. Supongamos que está enfermo. And suddenly you, you are like, or you are like. Es como resfriado, ¿no? No, es no. el verbo. Estornudo. Excellent. Ah, estornudo. Yes, excellent. And what is the pronounced teacher? Sneeze. 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 Okay. Sneeze. Sneeze. Yeah, sneeze. Sneeze. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we are going to work with these because, well, there are lots of verbs. So I'm going to send you this document so you can work on it, okay? So okay, teacher. we're going to move to the next one and you are going to make affirmative sentences, negative or questions, okay? Using contractions when possible, okay? So number one, let me see. Esmeralda. Okay. Mm. She is she is going to home now. She is going going home now. Home now, okay. Home now. Si voy a usar la forma corta contractada, ¿cómo me quedaría? Forma corta. Ajá. ¿Cómo? Aquí, okay, acá dice, use contractions when possible. So, for example, mm. you can tell me that she's going mm -hmm. home oh, no. now. Ok, aquí ya contracté lo que ah, es el okay. verbo to be. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Ok. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see, Gerardo, the next one. And I reading a great book. A question, okay, like this. Like this. Yes. And are you sure that this is a question? Seguro que no, es una... Ajá. No, because there is no question mark. Ah, excellent. We don't have a question mark. So how is it going to be? I am. ¿Y la forma corta? I'm. Okay, I'm reading a great book. Thank you. Uh, Selena, the next one. She is not watching her, her child. Okay. ¿Y la forma contractada o corta cómo sería? She isn't watching her child. Okay. She isn't washing her hair. Okay. Thank you. The next one. Um, let me see. Carlos. It's the cat chasing mice. Excellent. Is the cat chasing mice? Okay, yes. let's see the next one. Jonathan. Is she crying? Okay, is she crying? Perfect. Yes. Um, Alex, the next one. He is studying Latin. Okay, he isn't studying, sorry. Studying Latin. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see what is the next one. And let me see who's next. Um, Okay, Carlos. Um, um, we are, uh, are uh, You can see that I have there a question mark, so it means that that is a uh, question, okay. right? Yes, yes. We drive in. Are we? Uh-huh. Driving. 
to London. Okay, excellent. So is this clear for you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Vaya, si no hay más preguntas, ¿verdad? Nos quedaríamos por acá. No sé si ha quedado todo claro o si tienen dudas. Una preguntita. Ajá, veamos, Esmeralda. Y, y esas reglas que usted nos presenta, ¿dónde las podemos ver o tener Va, para poderlas estudiar? Déjenme compartirles el enlace ahorita ah, para okay. que lo tengan, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. E igualmente el ejercicio para que lo puedan trabajar. Ok. Thank ok. Raquel, ¿usted qué iba a preguntar? Que en la plataforma yo he estado teniendo algunos problemas en cuanto a las respuestas. O sea, me da incorrectas y he probado de diversas formas y siempre me sigue dando incorrectas. Vaya, este, con respecto a la plataforma, yo me he fijado que a veces dejan espacios de más. Y con esos espacios automáticamente hace que le salga mal a la respuesta. Igualmente a veces hay una letra que no va. Y esa letra también hace que les vaya, les, les salga mal. O a veces puede ser que uno le pone punto a la oración o le pone el signo de interrogación y hace que de igual manera salga mal. Es de tener ahí un poquito de cuidado, ¿verdad? O si gusta, me puede enviar la, la captura de pantalla de las respuestas que le han salido malas para ver qué es lo que, lo que ha pasado. Vaya, sí se la voy a enviar porque tengo en tres, he tenido problemas. Y la que sí tenía ahí dudas es la número cinco, que usted me ponía que era la respuesta de la pregunta número cuatro, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero allí sí no sé cómo debería de ser la respuesta correcta. Ese es del meter o del final test. Del, espérame, ¿cuál era? Si no me equivoco, era en la sección 4. Permítame. De la sección 4 dice. Sí, pero si no me equivoco es el 4.4. Ok, el knowledge check. Let me see. Se está tardando en cargarme. Sí, igual a mí. Ajá, era, por ejemplo, en la 3 dice I don't like. Very much. Entonces, yo le pongo I, el it. Ah. I don't ajá. like it very much. Vaya. Y sí. se... Ajá. ¿Ese es correcto o no es correcto? No. Acá está. No es. I don't like them. ¿Por qué? Porque hablo de las películas. Ok. Mm. I comienzo la conversación. Esta es una pequeña conversación. Do you like science fiction movies? Aquí estoy hablando de las películas. No, I don't. O sea, esa es mi respuesta. I don't like them very much. No me gustan mucho. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de lo que son las películas. Mm, ok. ¿Y las cinco? La 5, porque estoy hablando Ay. de él. Jake, hablo de él. Uso Ajá. lo que es el doesn't. Sí, yo lo había puesto en positivo y no me da. Ah, no, porque aquí estoy hablando de, de lo que es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Es decir, estoy preguntando de Jake y Lisa. Como estoy respondiendo que a él no le gustan y estoy diciendo que no sé de Lisa, vengo y le 
hago la siguiente pregunta. Why don't you ask her? ¿Por qué no le preguntas a ella? ¿Ok? Mm. Ajá. Sí, ya, pues sí, en esa zona que tenía problemas. Ah, ok. Y de ahí tengo otras, pero igual, va, se la voy a mandar la captura para que... Va, perfecto, no hay verificar. problema. Gracias. A ustedes, si no hay más preguntas, pues nos quedamos hasta acá y mañana nos vemos. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, Bye. Bye. take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.